guys welcome back to my channel i am going to be doing a ofa cosmetic get ready with me so i got some products in ofa this is a cute little bag i got from them um and then i also got some highlighters blush bronzer um lip stuff and like palettes like two palettes like blush palettes and a um highlight palette and then also the pro palette so this is the free spare palette so I'll open that up and show it to you guys because it's pretty nice look how gorgeous that is so it has shadows in here blush banana uh, powder sorry yeah banana powder yes <laughs> i had to think about it. uh highlighter shade bronzer then you could use these guys as um blushes as well I mean blushes, eyeshadows, oh my god. But like, look how gorgeous this is. So this, I'll tell you guys what the retail prices of each of these were and how much I got them off because they were having a promotion for, I think it was called the Best Friends Forever 2020 code. And if you use that, you got, I think it was, was it 10, something off? I can't remember how much percent it was off, but it was a decent price. So that's why I got a lot of things. Um, and some of these things were already on sale, so then they got discounted and all that fun stuff. I think that's what I was. I did get one of the products for free if you spent over a certain amount, and that was the Nikki Tutorials. So this is all for um, collabing with Nikki Tutorials, and this is the highlighter glazed donut that she always talks about. But like, look how gorgeous that shade is. Ooh. Some of them I have repeat shades of because I got like, I'm a really sucker for bundle packs. That's my thing. I feel like you get a lot for your buck kind of thing than get individual unless you want something individual. But I'm a very big bundle pack person. I'm just the Indian in me. But anyways, um, let's get into it. So I'm going to use Sunblock. Um, this is Nutrigena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. Since it's lightweight, it's clean, free. Um, and apparently it's water resistant for 80 minutes, but I don't use it. I just use it on my face. Um, since it's summer now, I put sunblock on under my makeup. Um, just because I don't have an SPF foundation. And when I do, then I don't put it on, but it's not bad. Um, so with this Get Ready With Me, it's a special kind. <laughs> so I am actually going on a date later on. And I was like, well, I need to do an Ofra um, get ready with me anyway. So this is a good way of me to get ready for a date and also play with makeup. So um, this video is overdue because my Ofra took forever to come in the mail. So I placed the order back in June, June 15th. I have it right here, the packing slip, and it took forever for me to get it. So I finally got it. Um, so it took about like a month, I believe, a month and something, almost two months. I think it was almost like a month and a half, I think. I can't remember, um, just cause it was it's at the post office, so I had to pay customs, which kind of sucked cause I think my box was too heavy. So the box weighed 2.5 pounds. And if you saw my haul video, you will see that in there. Um, but yeah, um, that should be up already. So you could look at that, but yeah, I got a lot of good things for good price. Ofer is really known for their highlighters, um, and their lip products. So I really wanted to try them. Um, and then since they were having the sale, I think it was more like a summer sale that they were having. And when I saw the quote, I was like, mm, maybe I'll try and see if I could get. And then some of the things were on sale already. So yeah. I didn't get anything from Samantha March. I don't know why. I, I Maybe her stuff was sold out or something. Or the shade of lipstick I wanted was not my tone. So it's not like I didn't want to. I really like Samantha March, but I just didn't. Sorry, Samantha. Um, but if I do order again from Ofa, I won't get... Oh yeah, this is before Jen Loves Reviews lipstick set came out. So I was like, really? But if I do order, I'll get Jen stuff and then see if I'll get like Samantha's blush or something or whatever 
the case may be at that time but if i do order from them i do get free shipping for my next order so yeah shipping was not included so um my total actually came to 94.20 us dollars and if you convert that it comes to like a hundred something there's like 120 or something i can't remember canadian um but i received one two three four five items and there was a discount code of uh, $44.80 off my actual regular stuff. And then I got the Nikki glazed on a highlighter for free. So it's pretty good. I'm, I just have the packing slip here so I could refer to you guys. I uh, refer to you guys. And I also write the prices here of each of the products. So that way I don't have to see the prices every time. So that's that. Um, since Ofi doesn't, I don't know if they have foundation and concealer stuff, so I'm going to do that off camera, not now. I'm going to start with my eyes first. Sorry, I think there's like a hair somewhere here. Cat hair, obviously. Um, I'm going to start off with my, um, sorry, I'm just going to put my ring light on. Um, and I, oh yeah, I want to give, tell you this. I think this came with the Island Time palette. I don't even know, but you get a cup with it. So I'm going to use this as my, um, this is just water right now. It's too early to drink, but I think I'm going to use this for my alcoholic beverage. So it looks like I'm drinking water, but yeah, because that's all the water bottle I always use right there. So yeah, <laughs> but I also don't really want to get tipsy on my day beforehand, but you know, whatever i'm not really a shy person so i don't think it's a big deal but i think if i was really nervous i could put an alcoholic drink for next time okay but anyway so it's cute and then it says five o'clock glow so i'm not being sponsored or anything i pay oh yeah just to um disclaimer um i bought this with my own money offer did not give me anything for free um the only thing they sent me in e emails and next order is on them meaning shipping is on them next time so i get free shipping I don't think they ship to international, which kind of sucks because I thought they did, but it's kind of nice. Anyways, so we will get into the palette first. So this is, this two of the big palettes that they have. This is the Free Spirit one. The other one, I think it's more neutral colors. Um, so I got this guy. I showed it to you already in the beginning. Um, so it's more colorful, but it does have neutral shades at the bottom here. So you could play around with those, although there's like these purple and blues. I really want to play with the blues. Is that weird? But I don't know what I'm wearing. So I think that might be really awful to do. And then I also like how the pans come out. So if you need to replace them, you can always take these out and then put them in. So you have this nice, decent sized palette. So this is a good so travel size one. Um, yeah, so I don't... They gotta do a neutral look just because I think if I go crazy, you know, then it's gonna suck because, yeah, no one wants to do that. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I think, to do my eyeshadow look from here. And then I think I'm gonna use my bronzer from here. And then I'm gonna use the Island Time palette um, for like my blush tone. And then maybe the highlighter tone. I don't know. But this is what the Island Time um, blush palette looks like. And then the middle shade is a highlighter tone. If you want, you could also take that out. And I just dig into the freaking heart. Fuck, man. Why do I do this? If you want, you could take that out and put like the blush tone in it. But yeah. Like these could be interchangeable. Oh my god, okay, I gotta stop. I'm not gonna try to see if I could lift them up with my freaking fingers, like with my nails. Like I'm just gonna damage my freaking shades. But anyways, okay, let's go into this. Um, I think I'm gonna do this shade at the bottom, which is called sorry latte and this is french mocha so latte is this shade right here as a base and i think i'm gonna go into these ones afterwards i don't know what's gonna happen but we'll find out so i'm gonna use my moda pro brushes as you guys know i love them or should i use my oh my god what is wrong with me my boxy charm and i got remember i told you i got two boxy lux boxes so yeah 
So I did message BoxyCharm and telling them about that. I was like, hey, so you sent me two boxes and they're like, oh yeah, you only got charged for one. I was like, okay, cool, but what am I supposed to do with the second box? Like, what do you want me to do with it? Like, should I return it? You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to do with it? And they said to scan, to get the, um, what was it, the packaging slip that was on it um, of the box. So send it, but I only had the one box, the other one I recycled, so I couldn't even do that. So I was like, hey, I can't do the other one because I don't have the second one. So what am I supposed to do with this? And then they just, they, it just stopped working. Like they don't even like ask, like they didn't even like look into it. So I was like, okay, do I keep this now? Like, I don't know what's happening now. Like, I don't know. So it kind of sucks because then it's like, well, I already threw the box out. I wasn't, because I already originally got it. And then I guess when I did it, they took forever to apply, first of all. So then I was recycling and I totally like, you know, I'm trying to get rid of things and like cleaning and stuff. It's just like, I didn't keep it because I was like, I don't know. I forgot to put concealer on. I'm so happy my date's later on today because I'm just losing my shit right now. <laughs> what is happening with me? Okay, anyways, I'm going to do concealer off camera or whatever because it's not important. So I'm just going to use the e.l.f. camo hydrating one. And we're just going to do that. I'm just going to wet my eye a little bit. Anyway, so I... Yeah, so that's what happened with Boxer Charm. I just don't know, like, I'm not going to keep boxes if I don't need to in my space, whatever. I kept the original box, like the second box I got, which I was like, okay, I'm confused about this. So that's the one I kept because I was like, okay, just in case they want the box back with all those items. So right now I have two boxes. I have pretty much everything the same. So I think I'm going to keep this. They haven't said anything about returning it. So I don't know what to do. Um, but I'm going to have to reach out to them again, um, which I did reach out to them again. And they kind of, so it's going to take 24 to 40 hours. And then they give you a window of if you don't reply back in until this. And I obviously missed that window just because I don't check my emails that often. And I was like, oh shit, and goes to my junk mail. So my fault but yeah so if i could keep the box like if i didn't get charged i'll just say do i just keep this box is that okay or do you guys want the box back and i'll just let's just say that i don't have my original one like the first like the box that you guys did charge me for i don't have it just because i can't i recycled it it's gone it's gone bye bye to the recycling bin okay i'm not gonna go looking for it why am I so hot right now? <laughs> Anyways, there's uh, the fan in the background uh, and my background noise. So just so you know, I don't know why, but I feel like I haven't filmed in a while and I don't know how to talk anymore. So I don't know what's going on. So I apologize for me being special. Maybe I should have put alcohol in my cup. I think you guys were thinking like, yeah, she's lying. She totally does have alcohol in her cup. I actually would not put that past me if you guys know me really well. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's get ready with me. It's not a good start right now. Uh, <laughs> I literally have been talking 10 minutes about like useless things. Um, I don't know if it is, but I think you guys find it funny. I know Ruby does. She's like, you're so funny sometimes. I was like, really? Actually, she's like, all my videos are funny. So it's on always sometimes. Um, so I actually don't know what I'm going to do with my eye look. I really want to play with like green and blue. But is it going to be weird for a date? Yeah, I think it's going to be that's too much. Because I was like, you know, because my nails are blue. I really like that blue shade. <laughs> okay, actually my nails are like a mint green, but they kind of look blue right now. I don't know why. But yeah, they look green here. I think it's just the lighting. But yeah, that's a blue shade. Can I put it like, oh, maybe I could put it like right here on my, oh, I could. But then I'm, I don't know what dress I'm wearing. So I should just keep it neutral. 
yeah let's not go crazy Karen all right so yeah uh, I was gonna do this get ready with me as um, a dating kind of get ready with me and how dating is so dating sucks if you guys don't date at this time and age it really sucks like you literally it's hard to find people these days um, unless you do online dating which really sucks too because I just wanted to do the traditional where someone introduces you to a friend like a friend introduces you or you meet the person you know casually you know like somewhere like a like a drugstore because it's actually a good one <laughs> at the grocery store I mean oh wow <laughs> at the grocery store um i don't know what color to do should we just make this basic Ugh, let me how many issues right now <laughs> okay you know what let's work on our v let's let's do that um but yeah so yeah it's just it's just hard i don't know how people do it these days um i hate online dating um so i'm started online dating um and also i asked my friends obviously to introduce me to guys and stuff and they have but some of them, like i don't know maybe it's like and also i think i live in the area like bc there's a lot of female population more than male so there's also that and then toronto has more male population so it's like two by one so dating's really hard here and i thought maybe it was just me but i like always talk to like my friends who also have friends that are dating kind of thing and they've been said it's really hard and especially like some of them are like single moms and stuff I'm like oh fuck man like okay yeah i get they're finding it difficult too because they're single moms but then i'm like i don't really have baggage right you know what i mean like the only things i have is cats maybe people guys don't like cats that much but you know it's normal but my cats are awesome no i'm not even being biased okay my cats don't even bite okay like I could, oh yeah, I'm supposed to do a video about that, um, not about biting, but I'm supposed to have to do a video of me cutting uh, both of their nails. And I was thinking of doing Jaggers because he's a little dick sometimes, um, but I'm not fully cutting the nails. I'm just going to half cut them because they're getting too long and they keep, they keep getting stuck. And they, since they do go outside, they do need their claws, but I just want to kind of trim them a little bit. So they still have, like, they're still long, but not like short anyways um oliver doesn't do shit okay like i think he might go up to like a raccoon and make friends with it like he's scared of things so i think he would just run away jags will run away too but he's pretty fast so if anything did attack him he will like literally climb a tree or i don't even know what he would do but he's really fast so i don't know how any animal could catch him um yeah so i just put uh sorry the dark shade what was it French mocha on like the V area here and I think I don't there's not much color selection so I just go with a bronze shade and just go all over my lid like right here would that be too bone tone you know what let's do that because I feel like this is too like orangey you know what I mean and then if I do the gold shade maybe I could do that I don't know do you want like a goldy shirt and shade? Let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to put this all over my lid, I guess. I don't know. We're just playing around. I, I have no idea what's hap going to happen with this eye look. So beware. Um, but I feel like this is like more like an orange. I don't know if that's going to work. I feel like I'm going to look like a pumpkin. I don't know maybe oh shit I didn't even get my color switch maybe it might work on my lid okay, you know what let's try it um but yeah so talking about that I was supposed to do a video on everyone's like why don't you have that related content on your page like on my channel and I was like I kind of want to but then at the same time I don't know but yeah so I don't know why I'm talking to my cats in details, but this is what happens when I talk about my animals. I do have a dog too. She's more of a family dog. 
so she doesn't really count, but <laughs> I'm joking. She does. Maybe I'll do a nail trim on her. She's kind of a shit when it comes to it because I did clip, uh, quick, quick her, so yeah, where you kind of go past where the nail is, just like us. If we, you know how you see the white and the pink, um, if you, you cut the white, I can't obviously show you because of my nails, but like when you look like this, like do you see how they're over your fingers? Anyways, I cricked her where that's not where you're supposed to clip it. And she doesn't, she hasn't forgotten about it, but she's not that bad about it. I don't know, but I think my cats will be easier. I think cats are harder to do than dogs. And yeah, I don't know. I call this do a dog one. That's not a big deal. I do two videos for that then. All of our just do would just lie there. Honestly. I could do his nails, no problem. Um, okay. Yeah, so that was fun. Um <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just like look look your brushes and look at look. Um, I think. Maybe I should just go, go with the bronzer shade and then do that and then do the other color, maybe. Um, so yeah, date, yeah, so it's not just me that's having dating issues. I, I kind of forgot what we were talking about. Um, uh, so I it's just this day and age, this online dating. Um, and then guys just talk to you and then they ghost you. Like, what is that about? I've been ghosted a lot. I don't know what it is. I think they get off the site because they don't have anyone to see anymore or something. But that's not the point of being on the site. Okay, so you're on the site, you talk to the person, and then if you feel like they're not a creep, I give them my, my number. That's how it works for me, okay? Obviously, I don't give my number right away. It would be like, you know, one or two conversations, see how often this person is messaging me and if he's actually interested in messaging me and actually, you know, engaging in the conversation, right? So then I will give them my number, okay? And then usually I will talk to them on the phone because I'm that kind of person. I hate texting. I only text if I, like, you know, if I'm busy at work or something and I can't obviously call the person. But usually getting to know someone, I like calling them. Like I call my cousin and, you know what I mean? Like it's just, that's more intimate for me, right? Uh, I'm just gonna, actually that looks really good. Um, sorry, I think I'm gonna take this guy and I think I'm gonna put the gold in. Ooh, that is shimmery. Ooh, I like it. Okay, I think before we do that, I think we should. So the gold one is gold. It's called gold. The one beside is country road. So it's very fallish. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing these tones. But anyways, um before we do that, I think I'm gonna deepen out the V right here a little bit, I think. To bring back more color. What is this? Because I think I kind of lost it when I put the bronzer shade on top. These are not that pigmented, they're like whatever. Like, you know what I mean? They're like, okay. I still find that ColourPop has bigger pigment. Like, if you use, like, the Glowing Coconuts palette. And I've been using that, like, so often, like, for quick, easy makeup looks. Like, for my yesterday look, I literally put, like, tinted moisturizer on and, like, a little bit of concealer. And, like, literally just, well, left the house like that kind of thing. Like really minimal makeup. I think I should do like a 10 minute get ready with me as well. That'd be nice. Like, um, no makeup makeup days almost kind of thing. Like very minimal. A lot of people like that look. I posted on my Instagram and everyone was talking about it. Like, oh my God, it's so pretty. Ooh, this is nice. This little bit of fallout, like you, did you just see that drop down? I don't know how I like this eye look. You guys let me know. 
All right, so that's what the eye look looks like so far. It doesn't look very crazy. I don't know how I'm liking that though. It's just whatever at the moment. All right, and then I'm just gonna take this guy. No, actually I'm gonna take Where's the bronzer shade? This one. And just kind of buff it out a little bit. What do you guys think? I don't know. It's just a basic look. Nothing's exciting. All right, so let's move those guys over. I haven't used these two brushes, so I'll put those one back. So yeah, I don't like, yeah, so that's what happens. I talk to them on the phone and then we go from there and decide if when we want to meet up and stuff, right? And then we meet up, you know, cool. You know, I don't really like to do dinner because why if you want to escape? I have had a bad dinner date where I had this oh, Indian guy that was talking about how, so he invited me to the dinner, okay? So he's the one that actually did this. So he invited me and he's like, oh, we should go out for dinner. This was a couple of years ago, like really like five or six years ago. It was a long time ago. Um, I'm going to actually go off camera and quickly apply my face products and we'll be right back, okay? All right, guys, so I went off camera and did the rest of my face. So I put my foundation on, my concealer. I put some setting powder on um, just so, like lightly the uh, rest of my face. Um, and then I did my brows. My brows don't look that good. I have to get lasered so i'm a little overdue by like a couple of days but anyways let's continue with this um tutorial um i mean get ready with me whatever <laughs> whatever you want to call it uh get ready with me first impression so i'm going to the banana powder shade in here um i actually have never used banana powder on my face ever um so this is going to be interesting i'm going to take should i take this guy maybe i'll take this guy I don't know, are you supposed to use this guy then? That's a brightening, yeah. So this is, I will use this guy. Um, and then I'm going to lightly put it right underneath here. Um, but I know the banana palette is kind of like your setting powder. You, oh, you want to brighten a certain area. So I'm just going to lightly put this here. I don't think that's going to show up. I was kind of excited that they had that. So at least, you know, if you want to, if people who like banana powders... I know there's like loose banana powders like drugstore wise that are out there. Um, but yeah, like Makeup Revolution has one I think it is. But yeah, I don't know if that's going to make a difference. But I'm just only taking with a brush, like a fluffy brush because I don't really like too much powder on my face. If you guys haven't noticed my other get ready with, with me's. But yeah. I don't know if that I brighten up my look or whatever, but it kind of sets my concealer a little bit, even though I've used the setting powder for the rest of my face. All right, so let's go into the bronzer shade, and I think we're going to move on to the next palette after that. Um, so the bronzer shade is called, it's a versatile matte bronzer. That's all it says so that's gonna be fun so I'm gonna take um I thought I got my color switch out I thought I did but I guess I didn't but I'm gonna take this guy this brush from Almar and tap a little bit in here and then lightly do my bronzer I don't know if this always picks up more than I want, but I could always buff it out here. Why does this always look so orange? Like I always have to like take pictures. So I'm just gonna bronze my nose a little bit because that's not so white. Do it 
for W. But yeah, right, like right here, it always looks so. I don't know if it's because the light where it hits. That's why it looks like it. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so that's my bronzer. I'm just gonna fluff it out. Um, I don't really do that line. Um, if you do like a harsh line, it shows more and like looks really harsh. Like some people like to do that. I kind of like to diffuse it a little bit like this, like, you know, cause I kind of like the shape right here, but then I don't want it to be too harsh. So that's why I blend it out like that. It's just, I find it that way. Like it depends how you like it, right? Everyone does their bones are differently. Um, back to the dating thing. Okay, we're done with that palette. Not anymore. No, let's do a finish up our bottom eyes and then finish the rest of the face, I think. I think we should do that. Um, so I'm going to take that dark color mocha, French mocha, I think it was. And I'm going to put that on like a bottom shader brush. I don't think I'm going to do a wing. I think I'm just going to do bottom mascara and then liner and then maybe tight line my top lashes like I mean not lashes um, um top um eyelash line <laughs> quickly just put liner and stuff on so you guys don't have to really what like I'm just gonna fast forward this um just put mascara on and stuff you saw um so now we are going to move on to the face the rest of the face <laughs> okay so we're going to blush so this is the island time blush palette um there's different shades in here i don't know which one i'm gonna go with um so i think i could do like a peachy tone or like even this maybe i'll mix these two i'll get a little bit of this and then maybe mix that guy i don't know yeah um, so maybe I'm going to put this guy down first. Um, let's get my blush brush. So this is Bellini. Yeah, it's totally peach. They call it Bellini. So I'm going to just take a little bit and then just tap it on my cheeks. <laughs> so dating I totally like totally lost track of that um so yeah so I start talking to him on the phone and then we go from a date I don't do dinner dates because like I said I had a bad dinner date with one of the guys and he was being like a typical Indian like saying oh yeah so he invited me to the dinner he he's the one that came up with the dinner thing like I didn't say anything about dinner and then he was complaining how girls don't pay for dates and stuff. Like, I was like, okay, but you invited me. All right, sorry guys about that. My memory on my phone got really full. So that's what happened. So if the angle changed, that's why. Sorry about that. And then when I was loading it up on my computer, Jag started to like make out with me. And then so I'd like make sure I didn't have any cat kisses on my face. <laughs> Um, and then now I have hair and I can't find it anywhere because, oh my God. And then, so I finished my water. So I switched over to have white claw in here, the black cherry one. I don't like the mango one. So yeah. Anyways, we finished it off with the blush. I think it looks very nice and subtle. I don't know if I should go with it more. I think it might be too much. You know, I don't want to go crazy. Um, so then let's get into the highlighter shades. So I do have Bali as a highlight shade in here. I do have, what else do I have in the big palette? 
I have World Your Drive, which is a very common shade as well. And then I also have the minis that I got into this cute little pack. Um, obviously, this one was free. So this is the Glazed Donut by Nikki Tutorials. And the other two shades I have in here are the Bliss 4 and I have another Rodeo Drive highlighter. I think I'm going to give this to Ruby or something. Because I don't know if she has this, but I will gift that to her. Might as well. Since I have two of them, I don't need two. Um, I don't know if I should... Well, this was more like a champagne color. And then, hold on. Um, yeah, Bliss feels more of a champagne color. And then Warrior Drive is more like a golden color. Like, do you see those two? Um, and then Glazed Donut is like this nice white. So I think I want to try this one. But at the same time, I kind of want to do not a white sheen. I think I'm going to go with a champagne color. Maybe I should just go with Rodeo Drive. I don't know. Like it's summer, so I think I should go do like a little, you know, shiny gold, I guess. Huh. I, you know what? Let's start with Bliss for Highlighter. Let's do this one. So I'm just going to take this on. This blush. This brush. Oh my god. That's it. This one. Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. Totally forgot about that. Let me quickly contour my nose a little bit. Okay. Bridge of my nose. No. Tip of my nose. And then my lips. I keep it bold. The glow. I don't want to go crazy because, like I said, it's my date. So I don't want to go like hardcore glowy I could some people will be like oh yeah why not but yeah so it kind of gives you that nice look to it and then the lip products that I'm gonna use are so this is Francesca Tolot I don't know if I'm saying her name right but she has a set of three in them um, it comes with a uh, vermilion ruby or bar Cree. oh my god why can't i pronounce these but yeah so this is what they look like i don't i can't pronounce them apparently why aren't you not focusing come on focus focus but anyway so one's a vibrant red one's a wine berry and one's a pink nude with gold flex to it Ooh, i'm gonna go with that one so these are liquid lipsticks i also got two mini ones um i got these two minis in that little cute little pouch that um i think this was called what was it called the daydreams pack so you get two highlighters and two lip products in there which is really cute um and the, it comes in unzipped or sample sample and they like these cute little mini ones so cute um so i think i'm gonna go with the nude shade um, and then we're going to use the Francesca one. I'm so excited that I have like a full size of these. And it has a little gold flex, so that would be kind of nice. So my lips are there. <laughs> and then let's try this. Ooh. It's not really a nude color. What did I say it was? Sorry. It's a pink nude with gold flex. I find it more like an orangey. Not really liking that. Maybe I'm gonna can I deepen it with this one? Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if it darkens this one. It's not too bad. I don't know, it's not bad. I think it just looks really light on here. It looks different when I'm looking in the mirror. Maybe that's why I think it looks weird. I don't know. You know what? 
Let's try it unzipped on here. See what happens. Alright, this is not Jen loves uh, this is not Jen loves reviews lipsticks. Mm, I like that color better. Yeah, I really like. Ooh, I like that shade. So yeah, I just mix these two together. Well, three shades. So I put the this one on, and then this, and then this on top of it. I don't think I really need that nude shade. Even mixing these two will have been to work, uh, work nicely, but it kind of gives you that rosy pink shade. And I kind of like that for this look because it's already neutral and then a little pop of like a pinky color looks really nice so we're gonna put a setting mist on and then go off camera finish my hair and then i'll show you guys the final product i'm actually gonna go watch brit um uh, brit clocks live right now it's on and i, I thought it's gonna be done before that but technical difficulties with everything so i'm just gonna spray this on my face um watch that live and then come back because I'm going to watch it while I'm doing my hair. And I come back and quickly end this video. So just let me just quickly spritz this. And it might be like an hour after my makeup. So that kind of will be like a weird test too. So let me just spritz this and I'll be right back. And then I'll give you my final thing. So this is what the makeup looks like right now. Okay. Um, and then I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay. Okay. See you soon. Right, guys i'm back sorry about that i had to watch um brett clocks live and my hair looks weird because the stupid fan keeps blowing at it and it's just making it weird sometimes um but anyway so i blow dry my hair i came back and the product has still stayed on um they look good some of my lip stuff came off but it's not too bad i think it was majority of um the caking on my lips um so i'm liking that i remember i forgot to put in a corner highlight in so we're gonna finish doing that right now and then i'll put setting spray on again um so i'm just gonna use the same highlighter i used earlier for my um, sh uh, face area and i'm just gonna apply this on Ooh, this highlight is so pretty i think all the highlighters are pretty but All right, and then we're just gonna brush some on the, sorry, the brow bone here. But yeah, so far I'm gonna do a small, um, move um of my face so you guys kind of get an idea of it. Sorry, my hair keeps blowing. But here you go. Um, so that's it. Um, so I'm really loving the blush as well. It's not too much, but you could obviously pigment it in more if I wanted to. Um, but this is nice. I love all these bundle packs that they have. So it's a nice way to just try it. Also like the mini highlights and the mini lipsticks. Like obviously they're expensive if you buy them, um, full size. I think it's like $35, I think for like one highlight palette over is more higher end, not high end, but like it's more expensive. So I get it. So that's why I, I'm happy. I got the sale items just cause otherwise it will be really expensive. But anyways, I'm really loving the uh, pro palette. Um, I know they have another one that's more neutral shades. Um, but yeah, they, this is awesome if you want to get into Ofra's, um, products, um, and if we try them, I'm not going to say that the eyeshadows are totally what I'm into because I only tried like the neutral shades. I'm not sure how the color shades are. I know that Samantha Mars was talking about the five pan or the six pan ones are really good. So it's hard for me to say how these will perform, like if these are better, but I've heard different reviews from people about the um eyeshadows but otherwise like the everything else is freaking amazing the bronzer shade was a good shade for me um and then like the eye colors in here are really nice too so if you don't like color there's obviously another palette out there for you um but i just love how much stuff you get in it 
Um, and then also if you just love blush and you just want like one highlight shade, it's like it's really awesome. Like these are awesome. So the this one I know was on sale. So yeah. Um, but I don't know. Like I'm gonna list everything down below as well, so that way you guys kind of get it. And also I will include Ofra's website, which is Ofra.com. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much the get ready with me. Um, I didn't really finish chatting about guys, but yeah, I don't do dinner dates usually. I do more like coffee dates, but then it just feels like an interview. <laughs> so it's hard to decide what you like you want to do. I know there's also like drinks, going out for drinks, but since of this whole COVID thing, it's really hard. Like everyone's like, why are you dating? I supposed to be on COVID I know okay I know I could do a COVID date that's not a problem but at the same time these guys are meeting you know I'm making sure that they're not you know infected in any way and I know what I'm putting myself into so yeah um like I said BC hasn't been that bad but yet there is obviously new cases it's not as bad as everywhere else um and yeah, we will see what happens. I don't, don't, I might do a separate video on my dating life. <laughs> and I think we could do more of like a sit down and do it. Um, just because I feel like when I do a makeup look, I'm too busy doing the makeup look and talking about the products. So it's hard to like actually chat about whatever I'm ch chatting about. So yeah, but so far it's just me dating i haven't found someone um and yes i'm looking to date and eventually obviously turning it into marriage i do want to get married um but also dating is really hard because culturally i don't look for a guy that is the same culture as me um just because i feel like that's unfair um so i am open to date outside of my culture but with my parents and stuff it's kind of hard to say if they want me to do that um so yeah and at the same time um i'm doing youtube so i'm really busy currently <laughs> it doesn't happen to be last summer about the dating thing too because everyone wants to date in summer right so because people are free right they take vacation and stuff right so and this whole COVID thing people are really free <laughs> you know so yeah i would do a separate May video if you guys want me to do a separate one about my dating life struggles <laughs> uh, and what I have gone through and um, I'm not going to mention any of the guys like the names or whatever just because I feel like they have the right to be confidential like I'll mention what has happened in the past but the current ones I'm dating or like going on dates with I don't really want to mention that just because that's not really fair for them <laughs> Cause they should be judged on some things but like i could tell you like as a broad thing uh how dating usually and like how my dates are usually and stuff like that if you guys want um but yeah so that is it for this look um hopefully you guys like it um obviously hit that like uh, button at the bottom hit um comment below if you have tried any of the Ofra's co uh, cosmetics products or what you want to try from this tutorial or the get ready with me whatever um get ready with me first impression one um and then yeah subscribe because if you came this far why wouldn't you and yeah I don't know what else to tell you but yeah so i'm going to end this here but hopefully you, you guys like this video bye billion dollar brushes Ooh, maybe you should play with those